Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is ImpulseKid86 and welcome to my review for Marvel vs. Capcom on the arcade. This is the third in a series of crossover fighting games produced by Capcom which began with X-Men vs. Street Fighter and continued with Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. I'd like to apologize up front for the crappy video quality of this review. I tried to record using my arcade emulator, but it didn't turn out very well, so I ended up having to use my Digicam instead. In case you can't tell, I also have a new microphone, so hopefully things will sound a bit better than they did in my last review. Here's the character selection screen, and as you can see, you've got a pretty healthy mix of both Capcom and Marvel characters to select from. I'm going to pick Mega Man and Spider-Man, my two favorite characters. And you'll see that special partner selection screen in practice a little later on in this review. In terms of gameplay, almost nothing has changed from Marvel vs. Capcom's predecessors. In addition to the basic combat attacks, you can still switch between any one of your two characters at any point in the game, which is an especially helpful maneuver if one of your characters is almost dead. And you can still summon your partner to perform hyper combination attacks in order to finish your opponent quickly. As I mentioned before, you can summon a special third character to occasionally assist you in battle, although there is seldom need to do so as the hyper combos are much more effective. Apart from the hyper combination attack you saw earlier, each character has their own individual hyper attack, two of which are at their disposal. No idea where Hulk pulled that bloody big meteor from, but anyway. Upon reaching the eighth and final stage of the game, you'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the final boss, Onslaught. This character is extremely powerful and should not be underestimated under any circumstances. You'll have to be very careful against him, otherwise your ass will be handed to you on a silver platter just like mine is right now. Should you manage to beat Onslaught in his first form, he will transform into a much larger and more monstrous form which is twice as hard to beat. Coming out of the battle on top is difficult but not impossible, and should you prove victorious, you'll be rewarded with each character's ending cutscene. Overall, this game is a definite step up from its predecessors. The gameplay is fast and challenging, the music is upbeat, and it's one hell of a visual presentation. There's no doubt that this game deserves my score of 7 out of 10.